Well, many families will gather next week around the Thanksgiving dinner table. For adult sons and daughters, it's an opportunity to have an important but difficult conversation. Our guests from UW Health are here. They'll hope you'll, they hope you'll talk turkey about advanced care planning. Mia Morissette is the advanced care planning coordinator at UW Health. And Amanda Lamb is a second year UW medical student. Nice to see you Welcome both. Thank you. So Mia, what do you mean when you say talk turkey? Well, I'd like Amanda to talk about that a little bit. It's her event that she oh, planned okay. for medical students. Sure, thanks. Um, so um, I'm helping to organize an event at the medical school. It's open to medical students, nursing students, social work students. And we've actually invited Mia to come to help talk to us about how do we talk to our friends and family about advanced care planning, about health care preferences. And you might ask, like, why or, like, why now? And to answer that, you need to know that all too often, people are trying to have these conversations at the worst possible time, worst possible place. And by that, I mean, for example, the emergency room. Mm -hmm. And your loved one has just gotten into an accident. And all of a sudden, you're in this position where you've got to make these really difficult decisions for your loved one, only to realize you don't really know what they want. Yeah. And instead, the better time to have these conversations about what matters to you in life is at a more relaxed time, such as the holidays, when everybody is gathered around at the same table and relaxed, and it's just a better time than in a crisis situation where... How, how do you start the conversation? That's a great question, and the goal is to start the conversation. So we're going to talk to the students about put out a warning call to home and say they have this assignment, or your viewers could say, I watch this program about advanced care planning, and when you're making your travel plans and what you're going to bring for the holidays, say, you know what, I'd like to have this talk when we're all together. And you can um, throw in that you saw this news program, that you've seen a movie, perhaps you have a loved one or a family member who's been seriously ill. And it's a, it's a great opportunity to kind of dissect what happened and start to talk about what if I were in that situation? What would I want for myself? I guess the reaction would be, why do you want to talk about this now? Oh. You know, the saying is, it's always too soon until it's too late. Mm -hmm. And Amanda's point exactly, that you want to extract it from an emergency situation and have it um, at a time when everyone's able to laugh, talk, ask questions. And contrary to popular belief, it's not depressing and won't ruin your holidays. It's how we care for one another as family members and friends. Amanda, what are some of the questions you should be asking yourself about this? What are the things you should discuss about if you can't breathe or if you're incapacitated or if, or, I mean, what are the specific topics? Yeah, so actually, um, to have these conversations with your own friends and family, it doesn't really require any medical knowledge. That's not what we're trying to do. That's not, we're not trying to tell you how to fill out an advanced directive. But more importantly, it's just having the conversation about what, what matters to you in life. What do you care about? Uh, what makes life worth living for you? And so... That's kind of the kind of things that we want to be talking about at the, at the, at the Thanksgiving table. It's time to talk turkey. Yeah. Good advice. Great ideas. Thank you both for being with us today. You bet. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Carve out time for the conversation. Absolutely.